suits in Fiji were in the U.S. Uh, are made in Fiji. The Fiji produces 42% of the U.S. market for women's cotton suits. Or that uh, if you want men, if you want to go to men's shirts, those are made in Bangladesh. Or here's kind of the most creative example. Uh, Egypt gets 30% of its manufacturing exports uh, from exporting bathroom ceramics which uh, all, all, almost all of which go to Italy. Now this is something that no kind of authoritarian planner could have figured out in advance. You know, when you think of the development expert who came into Egypt and after a few nights in the hotel said, oh, I've got it, just send toilets to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> would, that have, would that have happened? No. It took an entrepreneur to discover that this was a profit opportunity. And yet still we neglect, we keep neglecting these, these great potentials created that would be created if we recognized economic and political freedom for the world's poor. Now, one of my best friends is someone that, uh, that you, many of you will have heard of, because he's one of BYU's most famous graduates in economics, Harvard Professor Lance Kitchett. I stole this, stole this graph from him from the presentation that he gave, so all the credit goes to him. Uh, he, did, he collected information from a survey uh, asking poor people who moved out of poverty how they got out of poverty. So this is at taking the poorest point of view on how they got out of poverty. So how many people said that charity helped them get out of poverty? Well, it turned out to be 0.3% uh, of the poor said that charity helped them get out of poverty. 88% of the poor attribute their success of getting out of poverty to their own individual initiative, saving, and hard work. So, you know, why is, you know, at this time when we really don't know the, the development answers or what is the right development strategy, this makes liberty more essential than ever. As the great uh, economist, the Nobel laureate Friedrich Hayek said on individual liberty for everybody, he said, liberty is essential to leave room for the unforeseeable and unpredictable. Those Egyptian toilets exported to Italy, that was the unforeseeable and unpredictable. We want liberty because we have learned to expect from it the opportunity of realizing many of our aims. It is because every individual knows so little, and because we rarely know which of us knows best, that we trust the efforts of many free individuals to produce what we shall want when we see it. These are the eloquent, moving words of Friedrich Hayek. 